Dan Fleming, any specific advice for people into software development about how to approach behavioral interviews? Is there something specific you can think of about people in this area? Um, okay. First off, practice makes perfect. Okay. Like I can't emphasize this enough, Dan. It's one thing to sort of prepare by yourself and, you know, like figure out answers to common questions, figure out what you're going to say. That's one thing. And that's how we start. But you need to do more than that. You need to grab a buddy, a, a friend, a family member, a parent even. I mean, I don't know, whoever you have around and get them to do practice interviews with you where they ask you behavioral questions, okay? The thing about behavioral questions is that there's an infinite number of them out there. It's, it's really impossible to try and anticipate the exact questions you could be asked because there are just so many. And if you don't believe me on this, go to Google and type in behavioral question and then whatever job, like behavioral question, software engineer, you'll see there's sort of like an, an unending list, okay? You cannot prepare for every single question you could be asked. It's just impossible. So the short answer is, you know, you uh, get several stories of your accomplishments in your head, like you've rehearsed them, you practiced saying them in a very compact way, like usually the star method or some variant of it. And um, no matter what they ask you, if they're asking you for like a story, okay, you're going to be pulling out one of those, say, 10 stories. And you're going to be telling it in such a way that answers their question. Okay. So that's the short, the short way of doing this. Now you need to practice this. Okay. The other thing about behavioral questions is that they're operating the interviewer who's asking you these, they're operating on the principle that past behavior predicts future behavior. Okay. So the idea in it, it's a very simplistic kind of idea is that if you've been in a situation before at work and you handled it a certain way, what they're saying is that if they hire you, they're pretty sure you will handle it the same way again. Okay, now we all know that for a start, that's not necessarily true. So the stories you tell, make sure that, you know, how you handled whatever situation it was, that's how you would handle it if you were put it in that situation again today. Okay, so things like that, you've got to sort of make sure that that's one of the reasons why we prepare these stories, right? Because not only is it the thing that you did in the past, but it's the thing that you did that was the right way. A lot of times we learn, we progress, you know, like when you're first starting out at your first job you've ever had in your life and they put you in a situation and then you handle it a certain way. A lot of times that's not the way you would do it again, because you've learned that there's better ways of handling it, right? So you wouldn't tell that story, for example, right? Okay, so, so you got to get your stories together, practice saying them in a very compact way. You can't take 10 minutes to tell a story or, or to answer a question. Uh, you know, like practice telling these stories in like 45 seconds. You just give the essentials. I was here. Uh, uh, this is what my job was. I was tasked to do this. Uh, this is what I did. This is how it turned out. And then this is maybe what I learned or what people thought of me for doing it that way. You know, just bam, 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 bam. There you go. There's a story. Okay, nice and compact. Make sure it's appropriate. Make sure it represents you and it's the right thing to say. And then memorize these, get them on the tip of your mind. Then when you go to the interview, no matter what they ask you, you're going to pull out some variation of that. You won't have to sit there trying to think of an answer. You've got all the answers right there, ready to go. Uh, and that's how you do it. Okay, but practice, practice, practice.